Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to our homestead. We are going to be talking about solar racks today. And specifically, we are going to do a cost breakdown per panel for eight different types of racks. On my property, I have five different racking options, but one of them is a roof mount option. We're not going to talk about roof mount options today, only ground mount systems. We're going to talk about the six most popular brands out there. We're also going to talk about two DIY options. Let me show you the racks that I have here on my property, starting with this one right here. This one is the EG4 Bright Mount. I really like it. I've had it for a few years. This one right here is by a company called Powers Solar Frames. And I got this from Signature Solar back at a time where they were transitioning from doing installs to only being suppliers. Unfortunately, this one is not available to buy from Signature Solar. You can get it from Power Solar Frames in Arizona, but you have to buy 20 of these sections to start with and shipping is quite expensive. So I'm actually not going to talk about this one in depth in this video. This rack over here is by a company called Integra Rack, and this is the adjustable version, although they have other versions that are fixed angled. So for this video, I'm going to talk about the 30 degree fixed angled version because that's what would work in my latitude for my property. And you can see with this one, we have it ballasted with sandbags and railroad ties. You can see here for the EG4 Bright Mount, we have it mounted on concrete pillars. The reason I'm talking about concrete is because it is a significant cost for your racking systems. And with almost all racking systems, you need to factor in that cost. You can see I do have one roof mounted system here on the property, but I'm not gonna cover that. But if you wanna check out our video on the mounting system that we do have for these panels, click on it up here. I've also put together a DIY wood rack and we are going to go through all the parts and pieces for that as well. Okay, friends, to make this equal between all the racking systems, we are going to accommodate for eight panels each. And that is because there are some pre-made kits out there that are made for simply eight panels. And it's not hard to adjust the other ones to accommodate eight panels. There's only one that accommodates 10 panels minimum, and I will highlight which one that is. And since I'm doing a per panel breakdown, that should accommodate that as well. For these rack calculations, we are gonna use a standard 400 watt panel. Most 400 watt panels are relatively the same size with some variation. That size panel will work on pretty much all the racks except for one. I'll note which one that is when I do the breakdown. Many of these racks also will require you to purchase galvanized steel pipe that goes in the ground to accommodate the rack parts. To keep things fair across the board, I've used concrete costs for my area at 1.5 yards and the cost for two inch galvanized schedule 40 pipe in my area, which is about $15 per lineal foot. I put together an Excel spreadsheet for us in the cost breakdown of everything. So let's jump on my computer and check that out. Okay, here is the breakdown. We've got on the left side, our brands. We looked at Tamarack, Chico, the EG4 Bright Mount, Ames, specifically the PV6, X250, Iron Ridge, Unirac, and then we looked at Unistrut or Superstrut that you can buy from Home Depot or Lowe's, a wood rack, and then the Integra Rack IR30, which is the one we would use for our latitude. Let's look up at this Tamarack first. The kit is for an eight panel, so that's nice. That's what we were gonna base everything off of, like I said earlier, is eight panels. So that kit is $535 for an eight panel kit. And that I believe was from Nas Solar. And I looked at numerous sites and Nas did have the best price on that. And the concrete that you're going to need for that is about $225. So that's based on a yard and a half for our area. Now remember, we're out on a country homestead, so we are a little more remote. If you are doing this closer to a city, it could be less. But for us, this price is going to be constant the entire way through. For the structural pipe, this two inch Schedule 40 that I mentioned before, it's about $900 for the lineal feet that we would need for this rack. So our total cost 
is $1,660 for the Tamarack, which is about $207.50 per panel. Let's go down here to the Chico. Now that Chico is the kit that only comes in 10 panel. You can't get it in eight or six or anything like that. So it's 10 or 30. That 10 panel kit is $2,065. You need to anchor it to concrete, but you do not need any structural pipe. So our total cost is $2,290 or $229 per panel for the 10. If you factored that for eight panels, you know, it'd be $2,065, but you can't buy anything less than that. So that's just for reference right there. Our EG4 bright mount. Those bright mounts hold four panels each. So you would need two kits to equal eight panels. That would be $720. Need to anchor them in concrete, which would be $225 for a total cost of $945 or $118 per panel. Now that is still one of the most cost effective uh, solar racking systems on the market. Now this is a new EG4 bright mount. I can't remember the name of the new one. And some people say it's not as good as the old one. I haven't personally put my hands on it, but look at the cost, 118 bucks per panel. Okay, we're gonna come down to the Ames PV6X250. You're gonna need two kits total for that would be $1,932 and you need concrete. So $225 for a total of $2,157. That is $269 per panel. And this is the one I was talking about. This, this single kit, it doesn't accommodate 400 watt panels. It only accommodates up to about a 300 watt panel. Now you can figure out the sizes, see if you can find 400 plus watt panels that are slimmer and taller, whatever. But that one, in, in my opinion, doesn't work well. Okay, two of the most famous ones, they've been around forever, are Iron Ridge and Unirac. For the Iron Ridge, we've got eight rails, six caps, 16 bond connectors, and 32 module clamps. And that was the breakdown of the pieces we need to basically be equal with the other ones. You need to set it in concrete, but you also need to buy structural pipe. So here we go. Total cost for all of that is $2,531 or $316.38. This is the reason why I didn't originally go with the Iron Ridge. Unirac is not much better in terms of price. You can see all the rails, caps, connectors. I just consolidated it here. About a thousand bucks. It's actually a little less. You still need the pipe and the concrete for $2,175 or $271 per panel. Okay, now we're gonna head to Home Depot or Lowe's. We're gonna look at the Unistrut or Superstrut, which is just the, the deeper one. We need about 190 linear feet, which is about $703. Need about seven channel joiners, and I went through and I designed all this. Uh, 12 L brackets, 16 flat brackets, spring nuts, uh, bolt packs, and then other 30 other connectors, bolts, nuts, and washers. And all of that totaled with concrete because we're going to stick our unistrut or superstrut directly into the concrete. If you want to use the feet and buy those separately, they make little feet that will bolt into the concrete. If it's already poured, you can do that but that's not what I figured in this because those connectors are about $40 a piece. So that would be f six of them. And so we just went straight putting in linear feet of, uh, or unistrut directly into the concrete itself. Total $1,239 or $154.88 per panel. And you can see here, I did make note of that. Assumes buried strut and concrete, no surface bolted feet. All right, down to our wood. Obviously, our wood is gonna be our cheapest option. And to make it strong, this is what I factored in per my design that I had, that I showed you earlier, uh, just extended to accommodate eight panels. I only have four on the one out there. And a lot of people for wood will also then put like an Iron Ridge rail on the top of it. In my opinion, 
that's expensive. We've got fastener, Simpson strong ties. We've got four by fours because for eight panels, four by four should be fine. If you go bigger, you're gonna need six by sixes. But in this case, four by fours. And here's the list of cost breakdown for all that lumber and fasteners plus concrete because we're setting it in concrete and the total cost is only $534, 66 bucks, almost $67 per panel. Now, a lot of people said that that Integra rack was expensive, but if you look on this list, it's actually one of the least expensive and you have an option about how to anchor it to the ground. There's three options actually. One here, we're gonna go with nine frames of the IR30, that's the non-adjustable one, set to 30 degrees, that's $1,260. We've got one inch, uh, 10 foot long EMT conduit, you only need two of them, 34 bucks. And the concrete anchors are about 60. You got concrete 225, that's 1579 for eight panels, because you need nine frames, you need another one on the end. Total 197 per panel. Okay, so look down here. So we've got no concrete, just the frames in the EMT, and we're gonna ballast it, like I have mine ballasted. 1,294 bucks. I think that railroad tie was 13 bucks. Buy two of them, they're very heavy. Some sandbags were a negligible cost, and to fill them with dirt is negligible. You can do that on your property. So I didn't add that in here. Maybe if you wanna add 26 bucks for couple of railroad ties you can but if you ballast the IR the Integra rack IR30 you're looking it drops the cost look at that you're looking at only $161.75 per panel so there you go folks that's the breakdown of everything that I could find now there are some cheap Chinese things out there that you can buy yes I didn't feel it necessary to put those on there you can make a decision about those if you want many of the ones that I did mention are made here in the USA I have links for all of those listed in the description below the video if you want to check those out. Additionally, three of those are carried by Signature Solar. And if you use our coupon code, which is also listed below, you get 50 bucks off. So go check those out. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comment section below the video. And now go check out this video right here, which is a full installation video on this EG4 12000 XP. Have a great day and we will see you on the next video.